monster of this. Devin? I love Devin, look at him. <laughs> okay, so... This matchup... Really weird. Um, I probably... I don't know it very well. <coughs> I think the things that you have to just look out for with any character versus Terry is really just auto turnarounds really important. Auto, auto turnarounds super good and like catches people off guard including me. Like I always get caught off guard from it. And just like avoiding the basic bread and butter Terry confirms, jab jab, power dunk and whatnot. But I guess we'll just see what Devin's up to. So we got Lapa versus Devin. Lapa has shown a really good showcase these last few games. So yeah, I like the idea of floating just to be above power wave, but unfortunately you dropped at the wrong time. But yeah, keeping a turn up in hand and floating above that dis that that area of power wave is probably really smart to do in the matchup. Devin, he smooths a lot. So yeah, uh, okay. So one thing about uh, jab jab power dunk. Um, I'm not sure if Devin's Terry does this, but I know some high level level Terry's like Locus because like, I played them a bit. Um, what it is, is if you SDI jab jab power dunk in and he does the strong input of power dunk, then you will get out of it, usually. But if he does the weak input, which is a shorter power dunk, and you SDI in, you won't get out of it. So it's just kind of like a mix up. So yeah, that's really smart there. Unfortunately, getting uh, kicked for it. So in that situation, I feel like um, in the air. If someone's above you, you should uh, hopefully realize that and uh, get on the ground. Just because if you're floating and you're in the air, it's ca it's can be hard to anti-air. Yes, Daisy has up air, which is really nice. But um, shielding and punishing in that way is probably better. But unless you have the really good reactions, then up air would be fine. <laughs> oh. The combo starter, yeah, unfortunately, just a bit too high percent or like the wrong hit of Nair. I'm not really too sure, but good down tilt, yeah. Once again... Uh, it looks like Devin's catching on to you floating above the power wave, so he's lots of crack shoots. So I guess if I was in your situation, I would probably just start forever floating above them and immediately shielding or just sh shielding the power wave itself because it looks like he's adapting pretty well. Or even like <laughs> you could be ballsy and like float above <laughs> and uh, toad, but that's if you know he's gonna know he's gonna <coughs> crack shoot. Pretty nasty damage. So with Daisy, he can easily return it. So yeah, th there we go. Yeah, that was perfect. You called out the power wave. You dashed back to call it the, the, the crack shoot instead of uh, trying to float over it. So that was really smart. Yeah, in this situation, I'm not sure if you meant the smash attack, but probably not the best idea. Uh, once again, since Devin looks like he likes to approach of being in the air, uh, probably f floating up airs and floating retreating fairs and stuff like that probably would have been better. Good parry, I don't know, punish on unfortunately. Good parry again. Tried to, but down tilts are like no legs. So. That was a really good weight. Um, down smash is good percent. I'm not sure what else he could have done off it. Probably like down tilt fair. But that wasn't too bad. That was a really good call out. Once again, like, I don't know about the forward smash. It seems like a kind of a ballsy read, but I don't know. I feel like just floating fair is better. Yeah, in this uh, situation, spot dodging is probably not great because a lot of terrorists just have to jab, jab, power dunk, and jab, jab, whatever for confirms, and, like, spot dodging g gets beat by that. So your best play would probably just be to hold shield. Because Terry grabbing you is not going to do a whole lot other than like stage positioning. Yeah. And oh, oh, forgot to mention, but don't roll. Because I'll turn around with this. It's just Terry. Oh, oh he, he didn't SD. Let's go. Okay, <laughs> so now he's at go percent. Um, go is scary because of that. So you have to be really, really, really careful, obviously, of that. And like floating in general while Terry has go is like super scary because power guys are because power guys are so big. So really just keeping a distance and I feel like when he has go mode just like staying grounded is probably your best play. Well just because like if you float you can get hit by so much jank.
gotta be careful. The Terry has some devastating confirms yeah, into gonna, his no special. <laughs> yep, no. So lot good good parry backer on that. Nice. The last T get power geyser. I, I like that option, but unfortunately the power geyser, uh, not the power geyser, the, the power wave came in too quickly. Did you say power dabbed on? No, I said power geyser. Okay, alright, well, I think we should change it to power dabbed on. So, I know I know uh, at ledge, uh, Terry doesn't really snap the ledge well, and especially on a stage like this, so down smashing or even using Toad might be good to edge guard. Guys, you're distracting people playing on stream, I think it'd be good if you stopped. Good parry, unfortunately, yeah. You thought he was gonna cross it, but he didn't. Down tilt. Oh, that was really nice, actually. Wow, I can't believe that hit. <laughs> Interesting jab, I'm not too sure. Yeah, so Devin's approaching a lot in the air. So, specifically in this matchup, lots of parries and float up airs and stuff like that would be really good. So, is he gonna F tilt you or are you gonna down tilt him? I can't tell. Okay, you gotta F tilt burning that gold. Yes, yeah, that's why floating is so scary in this match because of how many confirms he has. Oh, 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 just missing that dash grab. I'm pretty sure that was true. Maybe just take a missing foot. In that situation, a little bit too fishy on the down tilt is probably just better to keep your distance and try to bait out something instead of just throwing out moves. Even though, like, yeah, you are in the deficit, but probably not the best idea. No punish. Yeah, that was that down smash wasn't too great. Whatever dash grabbing, doing down throw back air, or running up down tilt is probably your best bet. But smash attack, yeah, not not the greatest option. Lafa is clearly very upset about that. Not yeah, carries. that's that's really good. That's, that's so right. good Terry's. It looks like Devin's a good Terry. <laughs> not surprising, but uh, in that situation, jab jab, uh, rising tackle is just kind of inescapable. <laughs> Unfortunately, but yeah, it can't do much about that. Interesting forward smash, like a hit, but like, I feel like you could get more off of other things, like quicker options, like down to fair, or, you know, stuff like that. Oh, unfortunately, weak back area. Yeah, it doesn't look like you're prepared for it to be a weak hit. Try to do some stuff. So, from what I can tell, I'm just gonna not say it yet and say no for sure. <laughs> falling up here. <laughs> Good stuff, yeah. You're yeeing in. He looks like you know about that already, which is really nice. Kirby's dream land. Oh, we got the Saturn just like last time. Mr. <laughs> Saturn. Yeah, so he's just landing a lot on you, so I just feel like a lot of parries, and because Terry doesn't really have multi hits to land with, so parrying his landings is really good. Dude, he's moving. No! Oh! Oh! Imagine he pulled up shield and cry. Until yeah, unfortunate. Oh, and the Buster. Will yeah, so uh, unfortunately, this, he caught you in the dash back. I feel like in this situation, with go mode especially, just like walking a lot more would have been a lot better, just because when you dash. You have 15 frames where you can't do anything. Like when you, like a dash, it's just like 15 frames where all you can do is ever dash attack or jump. So you cannot shield in those 15 frames. So just in that situation, just like walking more, just so you can shield any coming. Because Buster Wolf, although it grabs you, quote unquote, it doesn't grab you through shield. So that's something really important to keep in. in in your head. Take take it. It. Game one wasn't too bad. Um, this matchup specifically, where do you want to counter pick Terry? Probably somewhere with platform. Maybe Smashville even would work too, just because you have that big platform to do combos on. But yeah, FD. Okay. You know, FD to comfort pick. Uh, they don't have platforms to retreat in, but I don't think Red Devon's really using platforms that much. But uh, I think FD. Is just so you can get those combos and yeah, the turnips uh, are more effective since you don't have a place to run away from. Okay. 
just looks fine this way, right? Turn him around. Yeah. Bro, that's cursed. That's cursed. Yeah, they should have changed more eyes on those guys. No, but that's cursed. He just looks like him. Oh, oh. Oh, unfortunately, the fair miss. Yeah. They're like, kids are gonna look at the other way. It's fine. <laughs> they won't turn it what around. Yeah, it's yeah, so about that roll. Like, luckily, you got out of it, but if Devin caught you quicker, uh, you would have got punished for that roll just because auto turn around super good on Terry, so you had to be really look, careful look, about look, that. Okay, so he's, he's like that. So I feel like, so you started off with a bit of a lead, and uh, once again, f just from last time, uh, like you are trying to just go in and go in and try to hit him as much as possible. And like Terry's approach options aren't really that good. They're pretty like linear and uh, punishable, like crack shoots and stuff like that. So I think just keeping your ground is probably the best. Turn around his eyes. I know. It's so cursed. Oh yeah, you got called out. So in that situation, you if you were a Chad, <laughs> you probably could have toted it because you know he was gonna rise and tackle. But uh, otherwise, yeah, not too much you could do there. Now you're losing, so it's a tough situation. Did you watch this episode? Yeah, once again, just Devin landing on you constantly, so being more grounded would be really smart. I feel like if you use more full cancel bear, full cancel bear is really good, and like you do have some close cancel stuff on deck, but full cancel bear is probably the Daisy's best option just because it's quite large and it's like so little lag. Once again, coming called out for floating with the crack sheet, so just being more grounded seems like the play. Oh. Good parry, no punish, unfortunately. Oh, he messed up luckily, so that was nice. Yeah, so he caught the roll there. Um, Usually when they're patient, just sitting there like that, not really throwing up moves or anything, I think it's just best to neutral get up. I mean, yeah, it's a scary situation, but neutral get up or a jump or whatever would be a lot better. <laughs> um, especially jump. Uh, Terry, only real way of killing you while you jump is getting a hard call out with a back air. Because upper is not going to kill you, right? So. I wish there was. That'd be nice. Yeah. See, We're there you go. You DI'd in, so you got the confirm. It, it rhymes. Good. It rhymes. I don't know. Dan Harmon. Oh, that's not that's not him. What is is it? Uh, no, unfortunate landing of the toad. Thinking, I'm not sure what you were trying to go for. He hasn't really done a whole lot of dash attacks or anything, so probably not the best option there. Just being more confident with your landing, and not toading there probably would have been better. No, I don't know how that is. Okay, so this is the scary situation of go mode. Try to float less, be more patient. Yeah, see, trying to call out a roll read, like. Because he knew to get up and he tried to call it out, you just got buster roll for no reason. I think in that situation, just floating there at roll distance, and then tr if he rolls, you can punish it near a bear, would be a lot better. Because if he doesn't roll, then you can react and get to the ground and shield in time. Oh, that beat that well, up. Be another two stock. Building a rocket or climbing. Up throw, I, I don't think he meant to do that. Definitely back throw. Like, yes, it wouldn't have killed, but stage positioning is so important against Terry since his recovery is really, really, really linear and doesn't snap the ledge. Burning knuckle, yikes, yeah, I'm not gonna be Once again, I feel like he's just shielding there. Uh, yes, the down smash would have caught roll, but I don't even think it would have killed just because, like, yes, it would have killed forward, <coughs> but if you rolled, he would have got hit the other direction. So, I think just like dash grabbing there would have been better again that stage positioning. I feel like your use of grabs is mostly just for throws and combos and not really for killing and stage positioning. So, I think. You floating like flo floating tomahawk grab is so good, and I think you should do it more. Oh, Unfortunately, yeah, calling up the spot dodge once again. Terry cool. really punished the spot dodges really well. F his kit and just how it works. So it's this is something to be careful with. You can land some pretty devastating confirms. Terry has got so many ways to mix up his recovery. Yeah, see, you parried it, yes, but unfortunately you didn't get the punish. Like, a back throw there would have almost killed, or even, like, an air would have been a lot better. Oh, interesting. Oh, or he died. Not too bad. Uh, at least it's not a three-stop. Not for my 
Well, you didn't die. That's good. But yeah, you're just. I feel like you're aggressively going in in the air, and that's why you're getting hit so much. So just, even though, like, yes, you're in a huge deficit, and it's going to be really tough to get a comeback. Going in like that is just going to get you hit more and more. That was a really good bear, though. The fear, yeah. I think it's like covering tech options with float is so much better than just being on the ground and trying to go for a hard read. Um, the unfortunate is the... Um, I do want to check something before I end this, though. I think I was catching on to something. But I could be wrong. Harry is respecting Lapa's distance. He's very cautious about going in against Lapa, which I... It's the Sekiro. Hero. You didn't really get in a whole lot of tech positions, I'm not really too sure, don't waste too much time following this. But what I found is that Devin really liked the rollout on tech situations. But yeah, um, I think a lot more patience, staying grounded, floating for tech options and ro ledge options is a lot better than bringing up the smash attacks. And just like knowing when, n when to and when not to use down tilt to punish something just because down tilt only can combo for so long, right? But otherwise, like, not too bad of a set. It was a bit of an unf unfortunate ending, and Devin won, but, like, Devin's really talented. But, uh, yeah, otherwise, like, your parry's really good. Catching his landings is really smart, and, uh, I think that, uh, next time, yeah, this, like, hopefully implementing more staying grounded patience and, like, floating for ledge options, and I think you'll do a lot better.